Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Jamara J. Smith and it is my desire to help you find your purpose, fulfill your destiny, and to have successful relationships in every area of your life. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can be a part of the Jam Fam. Well, listen, it is now December, the last month of 2022, and I know a lot of you have something that's been on your mind, and I'm just going to say it. This is what I'm led to speak about today. Why is it taking so long? Why did it take so long? And the reason why it took so long is because God could trust you in the wait. See, a lot of times we go through different things, different situations, different circumstances, and it seems like others around us may be moving ahead, maybe getting it faster, and we're sitting there like questioning God. Okay, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm obeying your word. I know what you said to me. So why did it take so long? Well, a lot of us have big, big dreams and big, big goals that we want to accomplish. And a lot of times what we don't put in or factor in is that we have to become the thing that we're believing God for. And in order for us to become that thing, what you see in your dreams, what you've been writing in your journal, what you've been praying for is a process. There's a process to purpose. You don't just wake up overnight and become a success in something that you've been wanting to be a, a success in uh, for years. It doesn't just happen overnight. I mean, you can even take, for instance, and in just in reality, you will see like a, a famous singer that is now very popular that, you know, they, the, whatever songs that they come out with, it's catchy, you love it. And you're like, oh, I never heard of that person before, but they can really sing. And now they're winning awards and, you know, they're doing different things that they've dreamed of. And you're saying, wow, they, everything just happened so fast for them. They just became a success overnight, but you weren't with them in the dark. You weren't there when they tried out for different um, competitions and lost. Uh, we weren't there to see them get turned down by multiple record deal deals back to back to back. But they still pursue their dream because they knew that they had a gift that God put on the inside of them. And even though man rejected them, they knew who they were on the inside. They knew what God put on the inside of them. So they kept pursuing their goals. They kept pursuing their dreams. And no matter what the rejection, no matter what the negativity, no matter what the naysayers, they kept going. And they continued to go and push and try out and do whatever it took until they reach their goal. Now you see them on stages. Now you see them winning awards, but you, we weren't there in the beginning. So they were never, it's never an, an overnight success. It's a process. It's just that we see the end result. And in order for us to get to the end result, it's a process. And God trusts you, King, God trusts you, queen, to wait for you to be processed, to become what you're dreaming of, what you've imagined in your mind, what you've been writing down in your journal, what people have said to you for years. And so in order for us to understand that, we don't need to get frustrated in the process or frustrated in the development of what God is trying to do on the inside of us because we don't want to get to the place that we're, we're striving to get to and lose it. We don't want to get there. And because our character is messed up on the inside, we don't keep it. You know, you have to develop integrity. You have to develop patience. You have to develop long suffering, the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, meekness, temperance against such. There is no law. You have to develop these things. It's not an overnight success. It's not an overnight thing. And if you truly really understand how God operates, then you would change your perception on how you see the process. I'm going to say it again. 
you will change your perception on how you see the process. Because when you look at it through the, through the lens of God who loves us unconditionally, you will say, okay, my heavenly father is allowing this to happen because there's something on the inside of me that needs to be strengthened. There's something on the inside of me that needs to be long suffering, that needs to develop patience. Because once I get to that place, I'm going to need to be patient. I'm going to need to be long suffering. So we can't get to the place and expect to keep it if we are not developed internally. And I know we live in a microwave society where we are all about convenience and we want everything fast, quick, fast, and in a hurry. But anything worth having is worth the wait. Anything worth having is worth the wait, no matter how long it takes. And so you can question and say, why did it take so long? Or why is it taking so long? But I guarantee you, that when you reach your goal, that when you've achieved your dream, you're going to look back and say, now I understand. Now I know why. Put that in the chat and just say, now I understand. Pastor Jamara, now I know why. I know why God removed that person out of my life. I know why God told me to relocate, to get away from the negative people that I was surrounding myself with. I now know why God allowed me to go through that health scare because it forced me to truly depend on God and not man. Now I know why. Now I understand. Because a lot of times it takes us going through things, suffering through things for us to truly appreciate who God really is. And, uh, and that's even in our regular everyday life. You know who you can depend on. You know who will be there for you no matter what. You know it. Because you've developed a relationship with that person to know without a shadow of a doubt, if I need them for anything, they always have my back. I want you to turn that around and look at God the same way. Even though you're going through, even though it hurts, even though people may talk about you behind your back, even though they may not believe in your dreams or your goals or your aspirations, I want you to say to yourself, no matter what, I know God got my back. Some people may have not, may not have my back, but God, he has my back. He always has. He's never left me or forsaken me. Forsaken me. People may do that. We're all human. People make mistakes. We're all flawed. But one thing is for sure, you can most definitely count on God to have your back if nobody else will. So I want you to continue to push towards your dreams and your aspirations and believe what God told you, even though it may take a long time. And for some of us, this is our season where it's happening, that the, the wait is over. And we're now rejoicing in what God has blessed us with because we're looking back and saying, now I know why I went through that situation and that circumstance because now I have a greater appreciation for where I am right now. So I want you to continue to do what God has told you to do. And I pray that you receive your daily download for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can be a part of the Jam Fam. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.